Hello everyone, welcome to Giraffe ASP.NET CSR tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to use a rating system using Ajax Control Toolkit and ASP.NET CSR. So, first thing is what is Ajax Control Toolkit? The Ajax Control Toolkit is a free open source toolkit for the building ASP.NET application that provides a rich set of controls for adding Ajax functionality to your web pages. It is built on the top of the ASP.NET Ajax framework and make it easy to add the dynamic interactive uh, features to your web pages without requiring a lot of client side code. There is a more than 40 uh, control kits are there so we can use those things. I already used the password and uh, password stamp, calendar, slider. You can go through the videos, you will find the videos regarding the HX control toolkit. So we need the Visual Studio. Just open your Visual Studio and create a project. Go to the file, new and create a website. So I am selecting the empty website, my template is visual CSR and I am giving the name for the website. Giving name rating, rating system, ajax, I am copying this name, I want to use this name as a database also, same name that will be quite easy for me to recognize so my website name is rating system ajax control toolkit click on ok creating the project open your solution explorer that will be available right side if solution explorer is not present in the right side go to the view and click on the solution explorer it will appear the solution explorer so this is an empty website here i am getting the name of the my website web application and there is a web.config file there is a configuration file where we use the configuration for this website now let me create one page right click on the, uh, your web application go to the add add new item i'm selecting the web form and giving the name for the my recognition purpose start place code in a separate file I am uh, placing the .cs file in the separate page so click on add so page is created let me run and test the page blank page will appear right click and view in browser Meanwhile, let me create the database. Open your Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Connect your database. My server name is localhost or wherever the database set is present. You can put the IP and server name also. And here, I have the password. So database is connected. Now I have to create one database for that. So right click on the database. Go to the new. All the coordinates will be available with the website and YouTube also. So rating system, I am giving the same name for that. Click on add. Okay. So database is created. Next rating system. Right click on table, refresh. We don't have any table. I need two tables for the 
this demo purpose so first table i am going to create the comment so right click on your database name go to the new query paste the code so create table review this is my table name table name is comment i'm creating two id comment id and comment i'm giving comment id as a auto uh, identity identity one one so it all it will be automatically increased one by one and comment i'm giving the and where yes created successfully let me check yeah comment table is created now my second table is comment rating command successfully let me refresh let me check the comment we don't have any comment don't have any rating later on we'll insert manually one comment and we'll test it next my page is created now i need the page the coding for that and uh, i need the ajax toolkit so ajax toolkit how to install the ajax toolkit right click on your application name and go to the manage new get package here i'm going to write ajax control toolkit it will appear and i'm going to use the version 4.1 as a testing purpose so later uh, latest version you can use but check your compatibility with uh, your framework and all the things so i'm just testing for purpose i'm going to for, put 4.1.5 so click on install it will ask you the preview permission changes automatically here one bin folder will be created and inside the bin folder i just control toolkit dot dll file will be appear in this page ajax control toolkit i don't need these things i can uh, if you want to remove then you can remove it that's not reason i need only ajax control toolkit so ajax control toolkit is complete next i need the web config uh, file where i can connect with the database so i am i am going to write the connection string go to the web config inside the configuration I'm going to put the connection string connection string con string and connection string data source is my local host and catalog is the database name and this is the main database name let me check with the database name if you have any doubt then copy the database name from here paste it here and my username is sa password is admin at the rate one two three so database connection is completed the ajax control tool in toolkit assembly is added there that's not useful so web config is completed now i need to code for the SPX page so appearing the my uh, comment and rating so code is already there I'm just using this code I will go one by one first thing I'm just calling the my assembly so assembly I'm calling here so I'm giving the uh, tag prefix name Chirag underscore in so whenever I will call this Ajax toolkit I will use the Chirag underscore dot in next i'm giving the title and we have some css for appearing the stars so here i'm putting title rating system using ajax control toolkit style 
star waiting star and three star there is a three types of images i am using so image inside the images folder is star.gif should be there so right click on the project i am going to create one folder images and i have all the stars in here in this copy and paste so stars are there so now css is completed next part is inside the body tag and form tag i have a table so code will be available with the website also so just copy the code and try to run so i am copying this so here uh, table so margin left auto margin right auto automatically appear in the center of the page then uh, here i am calling tr td then chirax underscore e i'm calling the toolkit script manager toolkit script manager help you to get the rating so here and i'm taking one grid view inside the grid view there i'm taking the rating so chirag underscore in rating and inside the rating auto post back true on and on change if anything will change then i'm calling the function on rating change the render is equal server and i'm just calling the class okay so empty star class and all the classes and here current rating i'm just calling with the rating so it will appear from the dot cs uh, cs page so right click on the page go to the viewport so dot cs page is appear here so cs page in cs page will call all the assembly whatever we need so i'm calling the assembly here i'm adding these things these four things are important for me for this one data data sql client configuration manager and ajax toolkit next i i need to connect connect uh, call the connection of the database so con sql connection con is equal to new sql connection connection string then uh, configuration manager then connection string then connection string name then connection string okay. so here i am calling the connection next i will call the rating here so get rating function i am calling here inside the page load whenever the page load it will check the post back and it will call the <coughs> get rating <coughs> get rating function copy this code so get rating function is defined here i'm query is select comment id comment and not null select average rating from comment rating where comment id should be equal to comment dot comment id okay. and rating from comment so i need some uh, initial comment for that that will appear here or you can uh, create a page add comment and you can pass the comment from here and i'm just calling with the data tables for the keeping the data as well as data adapter and then i'm passing the all the data to all comment id and on rating change as i told you there is a one function is there on rating change whenever uh, rating will be changed then it will uh, it will fire this function on rating change and i will get the whatever the click rating and i will convert that to uh, that one into i uh, rating id row id uh, rating id then i will insert the data into the comment rating table both the tables now you can see both the tables is empty i'm uh, going to insert manually a comment to go and edit So I'm inserting comment ID is one and comment is comment one and passing. So 
let me run the page This is the comment and this is the rating. See how the stars are appearing there. So comment one, there is a five star. I am giving just assume that one star, one rating. Uh, whenever I am clicking here, it will data will insert to the database. So in the comment rating database, execute one comment ID, uh, rating ID. This is the auto increment. So leave it this one. Comment ID one, rating is one. So I'm passing this one and here I have a only one comment one comment ID comment ID one and here is this is passing so refresh the page just just assume that I'm giving the five star so automatically this will be appearing the three star because average of five plus one six six divided by two means uh, three so let me check in the therapy for the comment one and I'm passing the rating five so average is the uh, it will show the average of the rating how many comment I uh, rating you passed and how many just assume that I'm just passing one more comment paste solution best solution from chirag.in let me refresh so best solution from chirag.in so see it's appear all the star but i am giving just assume that five star so five star rating is coming if you refresh also it appear the five star because five star rating is inserted into my database there is a comment id 2 and here you can check there is a comment at 2 and rating is a 5 so like this you can uh, restrict the user for the only one uh, rating for the one comment using the session so that is the second part of this video so just like i am giving the for five times five rating let me check rating to five rating four rating just assume that one rating let me check one two three three times one rating means five four nine ten eleven twelve twelve by one two three four five twelve by 5 means 2 2 point something so it will appear in the 2 rating but previously how much I have given 5 rating so this is the average rating for any comment so in this video what we have learned we have learned the how to use rating system using Ajax control toolkit and sp.net CSR this is quite easy go through the video and I will provide all the codings and this project also it will be available on the description hope this will help thank you for watching